This is a brand new white t-shirt. <laughs> you ever wear a brand, guys, you ever wear a new white dress shirt and you forget to wear a shirt underneath and you're like, all your skin? Anyway. <laughs> if you, yeah, don't judge me on that as if it was a prepared joke. We have a great show for you guys tonight. We have comedian Ben Kronberg is here. Yeah. He'll be here already. We also have the music of Lux. Yeah. And due to a generous donation from BKD and Lathrop Engage, we have a great title sponsor, and they are called Harmony House. Check this out. A really good friend is a person I, you meet and then you become very nice to each other. And you respect each other, nice to them, be friends with them, and then you're best friends. That's a best friend. Do, 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 do. <laughs> Harmony House. Man, I'm excited you guys are watching the show tonight. We have a good one, mostly, I guess, because Dave's here. <laughs> Dave, I like the shape of your beard. Thank you. It's, it's fresh. I just got it done a couple hours ago. Yeah. So, I didn't do anything the whole summer. I looked like Robin Williams in Jumanji. It was... <laughs> when he first came out of the game, not later on when they cut all his hair off, because then the reference wouldn't make sense. Rest in peace, Robin Williams. I don't know those... I don't know any of that. <laughs> all right, let's do Things I've Noticed. These things I've noticed, these things I've noticed, yeah. Yeah. These things I've noticed, these things I've noticed, yeah. Yeah. Hold on, I don't, I don't have my uh, things I noticed cards. <laughs> there... <laughs> Thank you. All right. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Great service to this place. <laughs> All right, here we go. I've noticed that I got a new air freshener at the dollar store, but it's only worth one cent. <laughs> that one was hard to say. Just groaning on the inside as I'm saying it. I've noticed that Olympic medals are really just nice lanyards. <laughs> I've noticed that I'm waiting for Hollywood to run out of old movies to reboot so they can start making... Shoot. <laughs> I'm starting over. We can do it. I'm waiting for Hollywood to run out of old movies to reboot so they have to start rebooting movies that haven't been made yet. I read. <laughs> Good. <laughs> I've noticed that home brewers always talk about their microbrewery, but never about their macro alcoholism. <laughs> I've noticed 
that there are two kinds of people in the world, those who leave their mug in the sink when the dishwasher is empty, and decent human beings. <laughs> if you're wondering where I stand, I'm not a decent human being. And finally, I've noticed that the only difference between a hipster and the Amish is one of them is a hard worker. <laughs> things I've noticed. These things I've noticed. These things I've noticed. Yeah. All right, well, it is political season right now. Everyone's, there's some people running for office, and uh, some of them are getting mudslingy. Some of them aren't. But uh, there's also another category, and that is people running unopposed. And uh, we thought, boy, they are not getting the full campaign experience. <laughs> so we chose someone running for an office and made negative ads about them. <laughs> In order to serve them so they can have the full experience. So there's a gentleman running unopposed for the Greene County Commissioner, a man named Harold Bench. And um, so we just decided to make some negative ads about him. So we got three of them. Here's the first one. Harold Bench wants you to believe he is fit for the position of Greene County Commissioner. Yet if you read his bio from the Missouri Cherry Blossom Festival in a creepy and sarcastic tone, it tells a much different story. Born and raised on a farm in Western Christian County. Ugh. Harold started school in a one-room country schoolhouse. It went on to receive his bachelor's degree in agriculture and his master's in public health science. Ah, after 45 years of continuous service in the field of public health, Harold retired. Oh, please. Paid for by Missourians for sarcasm. Yeah. It doesn't take much to make a negative ad, just... So, uh, but we decided that wasn't enough uh, because we want him to experience the full breadth of experience running for office. So we thought we should probably make another one. So here's our second one. Sure, Harold Bench has been a pillar of Greene County for years, but do you really want to be supported by a uh, Harry Bench? Doesn't that sound gross? Just look at that. It's, it's disgusting. Benches always leave you feeling uncomfortable after a while, and right now, Harold Bench, our backs are hurting. But we've got a message for you, Harold Bench. Take a seat. It's time for you to ride the bench. Our point is, is that bench sounds like bench. That's really what we're going for here. Paid for by chairs. <laughs> Paid for by chairs. Uh, so, so we did two, and then we were like, boy, he's really not getting the full experience here. <laughs> and sure, maybe he seems like a nice guy, but isn't that just in the eye of the beholder? So we made another one, and this one is a little bit more pointed. Harold Bench is running unopposed for Greene County Commissioner. But can you vote for a guy whose name can be rearranged to spell things like Ranch Globshed, Hard Bench Logs, Lord Shag Bench, Gold Bench Rash, Sh Bad corn leg. I don't think so. Paid for by Missouri Late Night Talk Show hosts against the bench. There you have it. If anyone happens to know him, please let him know. All right, we'll be right back.
That comedy segment brought to you by a hip joint. Guest booking provided by Gig Salad. Hey, welcome back. Welcome back. We have a great guest tonight, but you might be surprised to know we also have a great guest sponsor. MissouriTrafficTickets.com. If you get a ticket, just click it.com. <laughs> hey, our guest tonight, you've seen him. He's had his own half hour comedy special on Comedy Central. He's been on Late Night with Seth Myers. He's been on Jimmy Kimmel. And he's here with us tonight. Please give it up for Ben Kronberg. Ben! <laughs> Let's shake hands more. Oh, let's hit. That was good. <laughs> you look like you're uh, on your way somewhere. Um, I'm always traveling, basically. That's, right. that's true. Yeah, I'm going to the bus station right after this. You're going to the bus station. Yeah. <laughs> Got to catch a Greyhound. Going back to Kansas City where, uh, where I'm welcome. <laughs> Just joking. No, I, <laughs> you're totally welcome I don't, here. I don't, I don't care about Kansas City at all. <laughs> <laughs> Have you ever ridden a Greyhound? Um, yeah, that's uh, kind of like one of the things I do is uh, uh, just ride buses and, and uh, you do tour. poetry and stuff. <laughs> buses. Yeah. You tour? Yeah. And uh, is that one of your modes of transportation? Yeah, absolutely. It's way cheaper than flying most times. It takes yeah. a little bit longer, uh, but you don't have to like ask a friend to give you a ride somewhere. <laughs> you, can just, <laughs> you can just ask the Greyhound. <laughs> Excuse that's been retired from racing and just ride on their back. <laughs> Excuse me, Greyhound, can you take me to Santa Fe? Yeah. Uh, Good boy. But beyond buses, mm -hmm. wait, are you, would you say you're one of the most successful bus riding comedians? <sighs> that's a really good question. Um, <laughs> I, I, I would say that, that, that bus riding and success don't usually intersect. Um, <laughs> usually they, they, uh, they, they stay pretty separate, but um, I would say my success of surviving bus rides uh, is 100% so far. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm successful. <laughs> You, you have very unique comedic stylings. If you say so. I do say so. Okay. How would you describe, how would you describe your stand-up comedy? Um, if, you're trying to pit, if you're trying to book a show, if you're like, what's your, what's your style? Well, if, if, if my comedy style was a dating app, um, most people would swipe left on it. <laughs> yeah. that, does that make sense? But yes. the people that would swipe right would know that um, I would definitely go Dutch on any date. <laughs> oh, good. Uh, times are tough, right? <laughs> like, uh, life's too expensive to, uh, to pay for everything. Does, that, is, does that even make sense? <laughs> life is too expensive to pay for everything. It makes sense, but yet it, it's confusing. Yeah. Just like life. <laughs> Uh, I mean, I don't, I, I, I'm a, I tell one-liners, I do a lot of puns, um, um, I can't really, my, my memory isn't that good, so I don't tell a lot of stories. You Even though, yeah, yeah, things have happened to me, for sure. Uh, <laughs> I feel like that hides a lot of memories, what you just said. Uh, yeah, I'm, uh, I'm definitely, uh, I'm good at burying things, um, uh, <laughs> uh, digging myself into holes. Um, but, it, yeah, so I, I mean, I just like to make people laugh, but I also like to challenge people with, with comedy and ideas, and I don't, uh, you know, I don't just want to make you laugh. Yeah. You know, I want to make, I want to make you feel. I, <laughs> I want to, <laughs> do you, what do you guys feel right now? 
Are, do you feel anything or yeah. too much vitamin B6? You're kind of numb in the fingers. <laughs> <laughs> that happens. Have you ever taken too much B6? Never. If you take, uh, clap your hands if you've taken too much B6 and had toe numbness. <laughs> it's not a, I, I'm not making it up. See what I'm saying? Like, it's, it's a real thing. That's your proof right be, now? Be, be wary of vitamin water is what I'm saying. <laughs> they're, not a, they're not a sponsor, are they? They're not a sponsor. Okay, good. No. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, so how did you get your start, though? Uh, oof. I mean, I grew up in a very liberal, uh, joking family. That not liberal, liberal, but liberal with jokes. And so, like, uh, <laughs> um, um, you know, like it, it wasn't discouraged to say fart at the dinner table. <laughs> I mean, I, w I wasn't punished for it, <laughs> you know. Uh, I could still, I could still have my meal. Yeah. So. Very uh, liberal. Very yeah, liberal. <laughs> that's pretty liberal, right? I mean. Yeah. Uh, judge me. I don't care. <laughs> so, but then you uh, tell me about how you got onto Kimmel. Okay. Um, uh, my first late night spot, Jimmy Kimmel, um, which actually I'm, I'm doing a show at the the Blue Room this weekend, and um, they put that I'm on Jimmy Fallon, which I, I was never on Jimmy Fallon. <laughs> so whoever booked me didn't do their research. But um, uh, Jimmy Kimmel, uh, which is another Jimmy, uh, <laughs> can see the confusion. Uh, um, I, uh, I went to a, a comedy festival, and the, the booker saw me there and was like, hey, Maybe in a year you could do this. <laughs> and so it was like a real like waiting game, you know. Yeah. And uh, then I submitted a tape because the, the jokes that I did at the festival were a little bit more adult oriented. But for TV, you have to be cleaner and more, right. um, you know, respectful of all the of all the audience's needs. Not everyone's a liberal family watching saying every, fart yeah, at the dinner yeah, table. Not yeah. Not everybody. Not everybody farts. Do they? <laughs> um, but. And so, so it took a while, but, it, but just even having the, the, the possibility of the opportunity kind of got me excited and, and, you know, taking comedy more seriously, if that mm -hmm. makes sense. Yeah, you know? absolutely. Um, but I got into a festival just because I recorded myself telling jokes and submitted it, and they were like, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah you can do this festival. <laughs> you can do it. <laughs> All right. Here we do it. <laughs> It was a junior high bully that was a bully. <laughs> Which you never think they're going to turn out to be anything, but junior high bullies do grow up to do stuff. <laughs> well, I appreciate you coming on this show. I, this, is a, this, is a beautiful, this is a beautiful space. It's not quite a, like, it's not as state of the art as the, the gig salad space, but uh, I would say that it's still. It's still Next door, yeah. It's, <laughs> yes. it's, no, this is, this is amazing. Um, I, we're counting down. I'm, seven, I have six. seven seconds left. Four, three, two, one. <laughs> All right, that's Ben Crumb. <laughs> Guest travel and accommodations provided by Hotel Vandervoort. Musical guests brought to you by Brian Properties. Yeah. Welcome back. We have wonderful musicians here tonight, but they go by one name, and their name is Lux. Give up for Lux.
That's our show. 10% of our box office proceeds go to the Ozark Counseling Center. We'll see you guys in seven days. Big Whiskey is the official caterer of the Mystery Hour. Mystery.